Hello and welcome to another episode of my Williams Road to Glory Career Mode Here today for two races First one here in Spa for the Belgian Grand Prix And the Italian Grand Prix later on in the video This is the grid for the Belgian Grand Prix And he starts from pole position Sergio Perez lines up alongside Looking down the rest of the grid we have Brown, Latifi, Valtteri Bottas and Ricardo, Gasly, Sainz, Russell, and Lando Norris, Sonoda, Vettel, Lance Stroll, and Leclerc, Joe, Mick Schumacher, Esteban Ocon, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Mazepin, and Christian Lungard. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? I know what you're thinking, how the hell is he put it third? Well, this is how I put it third, it was raining. And I'm just too good in the, in the rain. But P3 possibly can we get a good result from this. It's not meant to rain for the race. We're going to do a one stop, but can we win this thing? Is this actually possible? So, five of lights, come on. And the lights went out. We're underway for the shortest run of the two, the first corner on the calendar. As we go and send it down the inside of Sergio Perez. If it sounds like I'm in a tunnel, my laptop wants to take off for some reason. But we get past Perez, heading down now uh, towards and through our roof. I think they've changed their view of this season. And you can see the gap. That Max has already pulled out on us, it's already about one and a half seconds and bulleted off of that source as we stay out of Paris and it's like we lost out to be a Gasly there. And we just kind of became a train as Paris is really overtaking Gasly somewhere and now tries to go right round our way. Perhaps I flew through and um, blanched him on and backed out of that one. As now Gasly comes back out, back out Sergio Perez here, and Perez has managed to turn that defence of Gasly into an attack on us. Going through the, the best up chicane and one lap later, and he's got us. So we're on the same lap, he's got us. On lap two, you now can we drive racing down? We couldn't, and he's been lit, and Perez got away. These are pissed with doing two races, I can be sure to down quite that to put through the section where Givinazzi and uh, our teammate George will crash, big crash back in 2019. As, as Sergio Perez retires, and also Gassi overtook us, that puts his back on the podium. Big engine failure for Sergio Perez, that's not good, because now the TV tried to attack us and we pushed him wide and our boss ass. We have just become an absolute train. We have no pace, and all of my defending came from the chicane bit because I kept going wide, very wide at the point, and that was just needed. That's very undefended. Is here comes Daniel Ricciardo trying to get past the Mercedes, which he. And very nearly does, but no, too far back. This occasion and Bottas now. I feel like I never see Bottas and um, the TV. It's always Bottas, it's Bottas. Sends it down the inside of us and gets past us into no game. And now he comes due to Sonoda, who for some reason we always seem like he's battling him now, especially after Silver's in the line. We beat him on the line somehow. Round the outside, that's how I keep the position. And the McLaren had a little sniff there, but they couldn't do anything about it. As now we go wide, and Yuki is going to try and get back up our inside through no name, nobody to fend him off. And now one lap later, here he comes again, Yuki Sonoda and the McLaren now, Daniel Ricciardo is fully alongside. We push Yuki Sonoda wide, and Daniel Ricciardo says thank you very much and overtakes the Japanese driver 
And now towards the end of the block. Then now Ricardo is trying to go around our outside at Blanche and we're pushing wide and now Yuki Sonoda may have a little look at the Australian as he tries to go around our outside and he's done. He's done exactly what Sergio Perez did to us. And he's got us on the exit of the bus stop chicane. There's twice now we've, we've fallen for that move. But it can be overtaken now as we look for the, the best seat, not really the best seat because I'm the kind of free I will hope at the top of Radio. Now as we head towards the back of that McLaren, we're getting closer, we're getting close enough to send it down the inside. And it's job done. But as I mentioned earlier, Bill was a massive fan of outside as we went wide again and Ricardo this time. Around the outside, I think we may have just tapped his the wing on his tyre. And there's a big crash! There's a big crash there, a big smash. And he's found Trey Bottas. And he's had the big moment. Not sure what's happened there. I think the Alpha Tower's got involved as well as we pit. And that had nothing to do with me, nothing, absolutely nothing at all. Ricardo pits. We pit. And is that George behind us? I think it is. Is this is what I think so? What us? Make of that really well. It looks it looked a lot worse afterwards, but that gap will always close in. So not really too sure what it's doing is it goes straight left into the wall. From our point of view, and the rage there, do it quite properly. As there is that pit stop, and we did actually block George there, so he did follow us in. But also, there is one coming, and it's behind the back of Sebastian Vettel, but it's coming the hard, it's going longer, and we get past him. It's a bit obviously a moment there. It's down the Ricardo now, looks to go around the outside of him. Now into this long, long, long right hander. Is he good enough to get him on the traction? As there's Leclerc and Lando really going for it in front of us. And we're really trying our best to try and catch the back of them. As here comes Lando Norris. He's going to think about sending it to the inside. And we're going to send it around the outside, Lando Norris. He falls him wide and he's done by his teammate. Well, Oh, my aim there was to try and get both Leclerc and Lando. We got one of them. Here comes Lando though, into their final line, through our range. On the top and Lando's dropped it. Lando Norris has put it into the barrier. Pretty much not far off where he crashed in. Qualifying in real life, he's dropped it. You'll notice that we skipped on lots of laps there, but this could have been about a 20 minute video on its own. And I don't want to waste any more of your time. And you can see Lando dropping it because we are doing two videos, two races in one, so these highlights are going to be a bit more cut down to what they would normally be. As Max Verstappen takes another win, the third in a row, as we fend off Yuki Tsunoda for the second race in a row. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to every one of the team. Yeah, that was a very good round, Barry. I could have probably edited that a bit more dramatic, but here's the championship very, very much going back to Stafford's way currently. I thought we could have maybe had a shot at the win, but yeah, we had no pace in that race. So into the Italian Grand Prix now, then after Belgium, and we've had, this is normally an absolute classic for us. Is it going to be this year? Here's the grid. So it's Ricardo and Paul from Verstappen, then it's George, Lando 
and the TV making out of the top five. And then as we go further down the order, we are starting 14th, so we've got some big, big work to do to catch those, to catch those in front and our teammates. It's a pretty easy one stop. Are we going to have another Monza Classic? As the lights go out, we're underway here in Monza. It's the race down to the chicane. Who's brave enough on the brakes? As we are going to send it to the inside. Down the inside we go, gain a couple of places as there's a pinch point. We get the exit to go around the outside of the Ferrari. Ferrari looking for a good result. They haven't really done well in this RTG career mode here at Monza. Especially in the first season when they had a double retirement. And pretty much every Ferrari power card and DNS from DNF to come that race. To get past and now we're going on to lap two. We have the job defending factory Bottas again. And we went a bit deep and Bottas got the run on us and Bottas is overtaking us. But now we're in the we're in the train tracks of oh, the, the slipstream we are gonna send it back down the inside of the Mercedes driver. And now towards the end of the end of the lap. Granny Joe's engine has decided it's, it's going to give up and it doesn't care anymore and he is out of the Italian Grand Prix it's Bottas now, we managed to get away, he's now defending Carlos Sainz in the, the Ferrari he crashed out in that first season and now we head down, Bottas got away though and now Bottas is back on the back of us as he tries to swap us to dummy which one? We're not having that. So we keep it pinned round the outside and we keep the position, but now it's all about the exit as we head down to the second chicane. And we held on, but not enough until we go towards the Hiscari chicane. And I think we may be a little bit too far back this time. And Bottas has stolen our P7. And now though, we fell back into the path of the Alphataris. And it's Yuki Tsunoda again, it's always Yuki Tsunoda at the minute. Who are battling since, since the British Grand Prix. But here comes Yuki, he's on the back of us. And there's Gasly! Did you see in the right, bottom right of screen? The safety car's out, we've defended, we've lost out to Tsunoda. But Pierre Gasly's brought out the safety car. What has happened to Pierre Gasly? And he just dropped it. He's obviously got a DRS, the double toe. There's a Ferrari for wing in the mix there. Don't tell me it's another DNF for Ferrari. A Monza is Charles Leclerc. And here he comes now. You can see Pierre Gasly. And Charles Leclerc is out of the Italian Grand Prix in his Ferrari. But look at his tyres. He literally, the steering wheel, he turns it into Gasly. He, 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 he wipes himself out of the Grand Prix there. His wee pit, you can see our, our rear wing. The DRS is broken, which isn't helpful at all. But okay, Charles Blair basically wipes right right himself we'll out of the Grand Prix now. Up... As the race restarts, and We've already had drama in this Italian Grand Prix. Is it going to carry on? There's now we're on the back of Yuki Sonoda. Try and retake that position after being sabotaged by his teammate. And we did gain the place back and also get one off of um, a good few there, you can see. We've got Daniel Ricciardo as well. And we're ahead of our teammate, George Russell. And we're trying to get through through there because he's a lot quicker. But George wasn't having it. So I kept it pinned and we kept staying ahead. It's now with nearly three wide, it's an English. It's three wide but you know it's Lando and George. And George does decide to back out of it. As he goes wide, it's all everyone's all over the place here. And we have to the barrel barrel. Now look at it, look at everyone trying to find the toe to try and stay ahead. And Yuki Tanoda is on the back of us again. 
Leave me alone! He gets an idea. They're free wide. Lambert's on the inside. Bottas finds himself on, his, on the middle. George finds himself there. And George has lost out two positions there. Let's be ahead for this garage game for the second time we've run out a whole bit wide. And you can see now that he's on this again. And now round the outside he tries to go but we push him wide. Stay ahead. As London Norris and Valtteri Bottas are coming at it in the background, but Yuki Tsunoda is coming back at us again. And down the inside into the, the first chicane. And he, well, he takes a big bit of curve, and that's kind of helped to stay ahead. And he's also fallen back to, to London here in the climb. And London's done him round the outside. Fair play, London Norris. That gave me a bit of moving to defend against him. And now Lando, big lock up. Big, big lock up. But we stay ahead, we push Lando Norris wide. Now we're side by side of the exit. We go through. The curve for Grande, we go. Leave this in there, we him in the wings if anything happens between me and Lando. We're side by side. Heading into the second chicane, and we stay ahead of Lando Norris. Take a big bit of the grass and as a souvenir. Here comes Lando again on our out, on our inside. And this way might have it as we let off the break. Try and keep it pinned round the outside, but we've taken too much into the and Lando Norris this time I think is gonna stay ahead of us. And he does. And now as you can see right now, he's back again. And now round the outside, we go. He tried again that parabolic lap, and he's actually lost out to Bottas and our teammate George Russell because of it. And now here comes Valtteri Bottas again on our inside. You can see how far up the road Lando is, but Bottas backs out of it because, of course, he does. On the exit now, try and get the exit. And now we force Bottas wide. And now there's been a bit of a bit of a knock as George tries to get past. Valtteri Bottas and George just hasn't got a front wing. George has had his front wing ripped off. Look, he hasn't got a front wing. As he tries to defend Yuki Sonoda. And he's been done. Look at the train behind him. What has happened to George? As he picks and so does Bottas. Then you have these two come together, yes they have. George has hit Bottas after we've pushed him wide, we've pushed Bottas wide. And then Bottas comes back onto the track. George kind of understeers into him and they meet in the middle. And they're both well out of contention now, unless there's a pull-up. So there's unless there's drama and there is in the background. Because Lars Stroll has put it in the wall. And that's going to bring out another safety car. And we are going to pit to put onto the set of the soft tyres. We squeezed. Um, you just annoyed a little bit there. But what has happened? We pit for the soft tyres. And what has happened there? Actually, you keep, keep pushed him wide. And he's kept it in a straight line. What has happened there? So Carla Sainz is at the back. Yuki Sonoda. How's Lance Stroll got caught up in this? He hasn't. He's had his own accident. And he's put it in the wall himself. Just like Pierre Gasly. Now here's Esteban Ocon's point of view. As he, has a, as he hits the back of Sainz as well. So it's another nightmare day for Ferrari. We can get this final three laps underway of the Italian Grand Prix. And now, here we go. We're on the back of Nikita Mazepin, who grabbed that point last season, if you remember. We tried to send it down the inside. Mazepin had the same idea. We had to cut between him and the cars in front of us. And we've got up now into P8 on the back 
of the Sebastian Vettel movies and the downy inside of on lap 27. Can we though? There is Lando and Yuki Tsunoda. Can we catch Yuki Tsunoda on this final lap? We've only lost, we've lost one place since, since that stop. We gained them back very quickly, but we couldn't do it. And Max Verstappen, for the four, for the fourth time in a row, wins a Grand Prix. Lando second, Latifi third, Perez fourth, and we just couldn't get close enough. From today's winners, the team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. So that's been your Italian Grand Prix and another dramatic one. It seems to be on a two year, two season cycle. But then the last season was very, very good as well. The Italian Grand Prix always seems to deliver for us this season, this grow mode. But this race kind of felt something, there was a spark, something needed to happen. And then we got that with the Stroll incident. But here's the standings you can see here. And that's been this video. Hope you enjoyed the Belgian Grand Prix. Hope you enjoyed this Italian Grand Prix. The next episode, we'll have another two, and it will be the Japanese Grand Prix for the first time and the Mexican Grand Prix, where we won last season, but I will see you then. Goodbye.